Hello Eurovision fans! Ciao my Italian viewers! Oh, I'm so happy finally to talk about the performance of Italy during the first semi-final. You know, I'm really in love with Italian participants, probably three years. Uh, just all the time you're surprising me of your level, of your high level of wonderful uh, songs of this Italian vibes, of this Italian energy that actually tears you, uh, tears you up and you're just, oh my god, oh my god, how's that possible? So, um, before we will start to talk about this wonderful, mind-blowing performance, I encourage you to like this video, subscribe and of course comment. I know Italian viewers are quite active, so we have to talk about this performance with you. Okay, uh, the first catching moment for me, it just first seconds of it, when Mahmoud starts to sing a cappella. Unbelievable. I had goosebumps. Like, from the, how's it possible? Really, how's it possible? I'm in love with Mahmoud, I have to confess. Uh, I'm just uh, listening, I was following her, uh, uh, him after that Eurovision with Soldi stuff and I like how he is developing. He's actually getting, you know, quite stable and uh, popular star, not only in Italy, but in Europe also, and I hope worldwide too. So, and this moment was wonderful. Uh, secondly, uh, just let's look at this fashion Kayla. He's really, I don't know, handsome. This leather coat, this, have, have you noticed this uh, earring, uh, this wave earring? It just, wow. I, I, I'm sorry, is it like Fashion Week Italia or something like that? Because Blanca is actually, mm, I don't know, um, a kind of losing, you know, I don't say, but not so bright as Mahmoud. Uh, and I actually didn't get why, why we have this difference, but maybe they wanted to, to just have different focuses, different energies. It's kind of complicated for me uh, question, but uh, anyway, they look both good, but just, uh, you know, different energies are coming. Uh, also, um, I have to mention, Mahmoud is more confident, more experienced, and it's obvious, but it doesn't influence, um, you know, uh, the vibe of Blanca, and especially, he's just actually opening when uh, we have this part of this like here it just smashing you this italian energy italian i don't know character it was in this in this stuff and like when they're both starting you know just to sing to each other <sighs> unbelievable also I like that blanca was actually you know jump into this piano then jumping on <laughs> just you know quite active performance Mahmoud was just walking uh, Blanco was doing uh, more stuff like I don't know why but okay uh, more, more you know and ener uh, more energy more uh, movements during the performance it's always good uh, what I also wanted to mention oh this staging um, actually for me it looked like the reference um, to their uh, to their video, official video, because they had like um, this uh, oceans or re uh, oceans, probably oceans or seas, and also mountains. And uh, that lights, they were actually creating the peaks of mountains. And we had behind them, we had the picture of nature, it's actually created with uh, just you know lights unbelievable so sparkling but so touching and also oh my god the ending of this performance when you know this stars uh, and uh, i remember that in the video they're actually going 
to this, I don't know, <laughs> to, to the stars. Uh, but uh, here they decided just to hug each other and um, finish this performance. Anyway, so professional, so fierce, so, I don't know, tasty. It just tasty. It's delicioso, muy delicioso. And you're just enjoying. I want to have all the time such wonderful performances, such wonderful songs. I want that all these participants ha like had this um, competition, uh, like not choosing who uh, from I don't know ten best songs. No, like it's, it's really it's true. Uh, but to have like all these performances, Italy. I don't know. You just have to. Uh, maybe give some master class or something like that just to reveal what is your secret of preparing such such wonderful artists for Eurovision. So now tell me what is your prediction for Italy uh, in Eurovision 2022? Do you like this performance? Do you like the song? And um, do you think is it gonna be in top three or top five or top ten or it's gonna be again a winner? Mm? Tell me in the comments. I'm waiting and see you very soon. Bye bye.